Yo guys, what is up? It's Nick, and today they released, I think it's 10 new cards, yeah, 10 new Elite slash Denard Robinson cards. Um, amazing. Also, Adrian Peterson, uh, still in packs, whatever, you know, he's going to be in packs the whole game probably. I did pull one earlier today, sold him for 155k, I opened up three packs, pulled him, Jim Plunkett, and uh, some crappy 85 or something like that. Uh, but I did have some good pulls there. We will look up the cards in just one second. Uh, you can see I'm at only 48,000. Um, I did open some packs. I had a really good streak. I opened up Sap, Claiborne, Winslow Jr., and Laurinaitis in like seven packs. Uh, so that was amazing. I also opened up a Garrison Hurst. I was going to hold on to him because he's like 4K. Um, also got some... Uh, got a couple legends. I got Plunkett. Uh, two Plunkins and a Charlie Ward. Plunkett's like 4K or something like that, so I might just hold on to him. Uh, also, I got some collectibles, some legendary collectibles. I got two Buckeyes, and I got a Buckeyes and Trojans in my actives. I don't know why I have a Wolverines one. I'll probably end up just discarding that, but I have those. And I got some good gold players. Um, let's see here. I didn't want that. I want players. I got a, some good gold players to sell. Probably got about 150k worth of value here. Uh, I got Randy Moss, Ray Lewis, AP, Champ Bailey, um, Jarvis Jones. I just got a bunch of kind of decent rated gold cards. I'm just kind of holding on to them until the time arises. I got four Michael Vicks, um, but I'm just holding on to them until the time arises when I hit rock bottom coin wise. Um, and then I made one pickup to my team, pretty huge pickup. I did pick up the 98 overall Randy Moss. I uh, have not played a game with him. Do not know how good he's going to be, but I did pick him up. So I'm going to hold on to my 94 until I'm sure I want him. Um, I don't want to run him as my slot. That just seems like a complete waste. But I want Desmond Howard to play my two, but I don't know. Braylon Edwards is not a great... I have too many... Desmond is probably my best slot, but I, I have too many guys I want to... I don't know how to explain it. Uh, but let's hop into the new cards. I am going to buy a 50 pack tomorrow. Uh, I know you guys don't, some of you don't like it, but uh, I will make a video of it. Hopefully if I get home in a decent amount of time. If I don't, it'll be up Wednesday, Wednesday probably. Uh, but let's get into this. I'm really excited about all of these cards. Um, I want a decent chunk of them, but I don't want to pay. So we're going to start off with the Denard Robinson card. Uh, just simply because it's a gold card, not an elite. And so you got to kind of do a little bit of special searching to find him. There we go, Michigan. So we're going to start out with him. We're going kind of a successive order, but here we go. Denard Robinson, 94. Pretty much the same. It is the exact same picture and card on the front, except it's a 94 instead of an 85. Flip it over. He's got 95 speed like a champion. I definitely got to pick him up. Uh, cover vote edition. Uh, pretty pretty boss card. Um, you're going to be quite, it's quite easy to get him as uh, time goes on. Also, they released a freshman version of his card. I don't know how you get it, but uh, I bought one out for 2500 just to have him. Also bought out the freshman a Adrian Peterson. Don't know how you get him either, but I bought one of him out for like 3300 so no big deal. I just wanted to get him. So now let's hop into the big ticket cards that came out. Uh, first, we're going to start out with probably another card that I definitely got to get my hands on. One of my favorite players of all time in college, uh, Vincey Young, right here out for 550000 97 overall. Look at those stats. He's pretty much a monster. Maxwell winner in 2005. I really hope they make a Heisman Vince Young because I believe he finished second to Reggie Bush that year. Um, not 100% sure, but that's what I think it is. Uh, so I'm definitely going to have to get that award winner, Vince Young. Uh, we're going to move on now, I think, to Toby Gerhardt. I'm not sure what his overall is. Um, I haven't actually looked him up yet. Um, because I'm not too interested in getting a halfback, I really don't need him. I just bought out, uh, whatchamacallit, Tyrone Wheatley before. So there's Gerhardt, 95 overall. Uh, 96 trucking, very good. Doak Walker winner from 2009. Uh, definitely a pretty beast card, um, but not really a card that I'm looking to get. Next is Trent Richardson. Uh, not sure what overall he is, so we will just have to see here. I think I've looked up every card except the the Trent Richardson and the... There he is. There's Trent. Let's see here. Come down here. 
Trout Richardson, 96 overall. Doak Walker winner from 2011. Pretty much just a really balanced card with good speed and good trucking, good acceleration, good agility. Just an all-around pretty good card. Um, so let's move on to wide receiver where we've got a uh, big ticket uh, item in Justin Blackman. going to have to pick him up. Um, if I can get the Justin Blackman, then my wide receiving core would be set beyond belief. Uh, oh, Oklahoma State. Uh, but my my receiving core would be amazing. I'd be so happy with it. There he is, 96 overall, 93 speed, 95 spec catch, 91 catch in traffic, 93 catching, 90 route running. Just an amazing stat. The Fred Belichnikoff Award winner in 2010 and 2011. Um, just a monster. I'm just gonna definitely have to pick him up. Uh, one of my, one another one of my favorite players um, from college. Let's see here. Who is next? Uh, I think the next. Oops, my bad. Uh, player elite. Actually, I do want to reset that because I'm not gonna need it. Uh, player elite position. We are going to go to left end now. And Calais Campbell. Uh, another new card, pretty cheap, going for 23000 I might actually have to buy him uh, just so I can replace him. I can replace Brandon Graham uh, so I have a better backup. So I might have to actually pick up Calais Campbell, not for 23000 though. Uh, next, we've got right end, and we've got uh, Leonard Little, another card I kind of want to get. Uh, I don't need him, so I don't need to pay like a high price for him, but uh, I definitely want to get him. I believe he's a 96, if we can find him here, there he is, Leonard Little, 95 overall, I think that's a pretty cool picture he's got, uh, so I'm definitely, definitely interested in picking him up, he's got 89 speed, which uh, really in this game, uh, this more than Madden, speed really does kill, um, so I'm definitely truly interested in picking him up. Um, next we've got uh, uh, Randy Starks. Uh, but, oh, there he is, never mind, he is a 95, I thought, it, I didn't see him, I saw Sap, but there are two of him up uh, for 34,045, uh, not bad stats, I might have to pick him up, replace, replace Big Vincey uh, with Randy Starks, um, don't, I don't really know that much about Randy Starks, but obviously he was a good player, um, I know who he is, but I don't really know a whole lot about him. Um, next we've got, yeah, we only got two more cards left. We've got probably one of the cards that I'm most excited that they finally released is AJ Hawk. Finally got a good right outside linebacker, but I don't really need him because I got Teddy Lehman and Peter Bulware. But, uh, his stats are pretty darn good. 94 awareness and 94 tackle are the two things that stick out the most to me. Um, so he can definitely, he's definitely like aware. I don't, uh, that's kind of obvious, but I mean, yeah, not much to be said. Finally a good right outside linebacker since they moved Suggs. And here's the other card I definitely got to get is the Antoine Winfield. And when you see his stats, you will agree with me. Uh, he is art, He's down to 170k already, which that's pretty awesome. Um, well, I guess really it's 170k or an extremely high amount. So if you flip him over, he's got 94 speed. Look at that. Look at those stats, man. He's just a monster. Jim Thorpe Award winner in 1998. I will tell you, I will get him. I will add him to my secondary. And that means everybody on my secondary is gone. Um, my secondary will look like this. Charles Woodson at the 1, Dion at the 2, um, what's his face? Antoine Winfield at the 3, and Champ at the 4, which means Alfonso Smith and Kaysen will no longer be on my team, which that's huge. Uh, cause those are some big, those are some good corners, but I gotta go, I gotta get next door, I gotta watch, uh, some, I gotta watch a TV show with, uh, my family, um, uh, my uncle and aunt are in from Texas, and we're watching kind of some TV over there, so I gotta get over there and watch that, I gotta run over there because it starts in three minutes, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like if you did, look out for that, uh, 50 pack opening, and I will catch you guys later, peace out.